in this video i'm going to be building the best possible budget team right now in nba 2k 23 my team as you guys know in season 8 the market has completely crashed where there's now tons of different budget cards in the game guys that were like 50 60 100 000 mt even for some are now all the way down to a budget price tag so this is going to be a crazy squad builder like i actually can't believe how good these budget cards are so at the starting point guard position is going to be the dark matter ben simmons also if you guys don't know my budget price range is any card under 30,000 mt i do consider it a budget card a lot of these guys will be around like the 20 25k mark and yeah these cards are going to be insanely good for that budget price tag and let me know down below what you guys would change about my best budget team and also your guys's favorite budget cards currently in season number eight but like i said ben simmons our starting point guard six foot eleven at the one seven foot wingspan i know he doesn't have the fastest of jump shots and he doesn't have that high of a three ball or any shooting badges but this card's still six foot eleven at point guard probably still the best defensive point guard in the game as such a good player model he's quick he's athletic he's actually got pretty decent dribble sigs and he's one of the best slashing point guards in the game so to have ben simmons on this squad to pair up alongside t mac is that not crazy to say though? Radiant T Mac is a budget price. He's only about 25,000 MT, 20 to 25K for a Dark Matter Radiant T Mac, who is still one of the better offensive shooting guards in the game. He's six foot eight at the two, seven foot two wingspan, has such a good jump shot with the KPJ base, Oscar Upper on quick timing. It's still one of my favorite jump shots in the game. And then he's got solid dribble sigs with the T Mac size up, the Curry Escape, and the Dame behind the back. So, I mean, this card is ridiculous on offense, and the fact that he's that cheap is kind of crazy. Like, to get T-Mac for only about 25,000 MT, and I think him and Ben Simmons in the backcourt is a really good balance of offense and defense. You got the size, you got the defense with Ben Simmons, and then you also got your main your main ball handler, your three hunter, and your scorer in the Dark Matter Radiant T-Mac. For the starting small four position, though, I do have the Dark Matter KG. He's right around that budget price range. Like, he is really expensive you know, for a budget card right now on Xbox, I'm seeing him for like 30 to 35,000 MT. And he's going to be a six foot 11 small forward, seven foot two wingspan. And he's going to bring us some more size, some more defense to that small forward position. He's got a 98 block, 95 steel, 95 perimeter, 98 interior defense. He's quick. He's athletic, just like Ben Simmons. But then he actually does have a really good jump shot with the Lamello ball base, KG upper on very quick timing. He's got the normal fade. He's got good dribble sigs good dunk pack good dunk packages could use better defensive tendencies but all around kevin garnett a beast at small forward and i think it's going to pair really well with t-mac and i think he's going to pair really well with t-mac and also ben simmons for the starting power forward position is going to be another card from the radiant set and that is going to be the radiant dark matter d rob once again just like a lot of cards has gone down a complete ton he was like i'm typing in d rob not david but yeah he he was like I think 70k, 80,000 MT before the new Luka Doncic endgame packs came out. And as you guys know, we got the endgame David Robinson, who completely crashed the price of his Dark Matter version from the Radiant set. And he's still a really good power forward, 7 foot 1 at the 4, 7 foot 5 wingspan, still plays really good defense in game. And this card is actually like below 20k. So you can get a Dark Matter d -Rob who still got great size at power forward, a pretty decent jump shot, solid dribble sigs. The fact that you can get this card for under 20,000 MT is kind of mind boggling, man. Like a lot of these cards, I'm still kind of confused how they're actually budget cards. For example, our starting center is going to be the Dark Matter 16-bit Chris Stops, a very similar situation to d -Rob. I mean, was one of the best power forwards in the game for a while. And now these cards are super cheap, right? You got Dark Matter 16-bit Chris Stops, a guy that's still seven foot three at center, seven foot six wingspan, has a great player model in game. And he's now down to like, the kg price tag of about 30 to 35,000 mt and there's usually no good budget centers in the game like even mark eden ralph samson they're still like 40 to 50k so they're not considered budget cards so that's why Kristaps is a key addition to the squad having that size at the center position a guy that can really space out the floor still has an amazing jump shot with that Kristaps base Kristaps upper on very quick timing and is going to be a solid defender but i think we have enough defense with the rob kg and ben simmons so i do think this is going to be the best budget starting lineup could maybe use a little bit more offense so for example if you wanted to put a men thompson you know just to have a little bit more offense on the starting lineup then you could definitely go ahead and do so because ben simmons really doesn't provide you with that much uh, that much offense but yeah having a man off the bench is going to be a really good backup point guard a card that i think is around 10k 
I'll quickly check on Xbox. I think he's around 10,000 XP last time I did check, and he's a really good all-around point guard. He might be a little bit more than 10K, maybe like 12 to 15K, somewhere in that price range. Yeah, he's about 12 to 15,000 MT, six foot seven at point guard, seven foot wingspan. And I still think Amen Thompson is one of the best point guards in the game, debatably top five. He gives you great defense, 92 block, 98 steal, 97 perimeter, 93 interior defense. He's so fast, 99 speed, 99 acceleration. He could jump out the gym, 99 driving dunk, 99 vertical. His jump shot is super knockdown, in my opinion, with the Derrick Rose base, Steph Curry upper on very quick timing. I'm sure if you guys have seen the channel, some of my ranking videos for budget cards or just point guards, I've ranked this Amen Thompson so high. I'm super highly on this card. I'm, that made no sense. I'm really high on this card. I think he's amazing at point guard, especially for a budget price. And I think, I think also having him next to Tim Thomas is going to be a really good pairing of offense. I mean, both these guys can score at such a high level. And once again, this is another kind of shocking one. The fact that a six foot ten shooting guard, seven foot two wingspan is actually a budget price. I'm looking on Xbox. I see multiple for 25K, 22K. Like this card is legit around 25,000 MT, which is such a good price tag for a six foot ten shooting guard, a Tim Thomas card that's got one of the best quick three hunting jump shots in the game at least in my opinion with the lamella ball base trey young upper on very quick timing is still such a good jump shot he's got the tray fade he's got some of the best dribble sticks in my team he moves super quick in game really good defensive tendencies like to have this card on a budget squad is kind of ridiculous man like i just can't get over how good of a budget team you can actually build right now in my team with season eight completely dropping the market and then for the backup small four position we do need some more size that's the one thing i will say about budget teams that still really do struggle is having enough size to compete with the really tall squads in the game the victor Wembanyamas, the you know taco falls the manu bulls the yao mings right the bull bulls that's the one thing that the budget teams do struggle with so i think that's why you kind of want to have big z on your lineup a card that's seven foot three can play small forward shooting guard seven foot six wingspan and he's just going to bring that size the ability to run maybe a little bit smaller of a power forward if you want to like a card like dirk for example is going to be our backup power forward really good offensive power forward in dirk but yeah, having Big Z is just really helpful to have on the squad, and he's about 20 to 25k. And then you got Dark Matter Dirk, a really good offensive power forward, seven foot one at the four, seven foot three wingspan. There is another power forward I'll talk about here in a second, here in a second for the last three spots that potentially could play over Dirk. It really just comes down to your preference. But yeah, really good jump shot for Dirk. He's got the B elites at base, the Tim Duncan upper on very quick timing, is a really quick release. Maybe not the best defender in the world, and this bench could use a little bit more defense, but I think we got to go for offense off the bench and go for size, so Sabonis is going to be our backup center. Once again, there's just not too many great budget center options. I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping that Mark Eden and Ralph Sampson start to come, you know, down in price over time because those are amazing centers that can't compete. Like those are giant centers that can't compete against pretty much every center in the game. But I think Sabonis is going to have to do for this budget team. Seven foot three at the five, seven foot six wingspan. Does have an okay jump shot. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I think it's really slow, but. He's still going to have to play because we need that size to be able to talk, be, to be able to guard the taller teams in the game. And then for the last three spots, Luka Doncic, once again, a card that is really shocking to see as a cheap budget option. He's about 30K, maybe 35,000 MT, and he's still going to be an elite offensive point guard. So if you don't like Ben Simmons because of his lack of offense, you can maybe like start a Men Thompson and then have like Luka off the bench or start Luka and have a Men Thompson. So that's why I'm giving you guys another option in case you don't like Ben Simmons at point guard, but I think he'll be fine enough next to T-Mac. I also wanted to include Marcus Saul, another card from the interdimensional set. Like I said, potentially could play over a guy like Dirk that really just comes down to preference. I'm going to leave Dirk in there for now. Actually, I'm going to switch it. I'm going to go Marc Gasol. I feel like we need a little bit more defense for power forward off the bench. And I do think Marc Gasol is a better defender than Dirk. And then for that last final spot, I think, you know, in case you want a little bit more defense, maybe you want to go a little bit smaller and you want to put AK at small forward with just a little bit more defense. You can also do something like that as well. But in my opinion, guys, like I said, this is the best budget team in the game kind of shocking kind of mind-blowing how good of a budget team you can build right now in season eight but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about my best possible budget team and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace